Hey guys, Jacob Dupre here. I'm sitting down playing the Yamaha Clavinova CLP 745. It's a really great instrument. Happy to show it to you. Let's start out with the first piano sound, the CFX Concert Grand from Yamaha. It's a really beautiful sounding piano. And actually, on the interface here, you can go to the CFX Grand anytime by pressing the CFX Grand button. But right next to that is the one for the Bosendorfer, which is the second piano in here. And it's also a beautiful instrument as well. Listen to some of the other sounds we have. A few more grand sounds in there too, warm grand, pop grand, jazz grand. But now we'll get into some of the electric pianos. Here's stage electric piano. Thank you. 
Really nice church organ. Jazz organ slow, so as in rotary speed. And then fast. Then we get into strings. And then a few bass sounds, acoustic bass. Let's go back to the CFX Concert Grand. We'll press that button there. And then I want to show you one of the features of this piano, which is Piano Room. When you go to Piano Room, you're immediately put into a list of functions that lets you start to tweak your piano sound nearly endlessly. You get a lot of control over it. So you can start with the lid position. So this is it closed, not a half, and then full. So just like if you change the lid on an acoustic piano, the more closed you have, the more mellow the sound is, right? The less it carries. So when it's more open and it's full, it's a brighter sound. And then when you have it half or closed, it gets a little bit damper, right? A little bit uh, less bright. The next setting you get, you get brightness. So you can literally change brightness. Other settings you get, you can change the, the touch of the instrument. So that's how it responds to the way that you play. You have soft, medium, hard one and two, and fixed touch as well. You can change the reverb setting from here, the reverb depth, the master tuning, which of course is at A440, but you can change that. Um, it's amazing. It's just you can go through, you can change the string resonance, you can change the damper resonance for the damper pedal. Um, you can even change the depth of the half pedal, because actually this pedal has the ability to do half pedaling techniques, so you can actually change the half pedal point, where that half pedal point is. You can split the keyboard between two voices or go into dual mode. It's really simple, just press that. And now I have CFX Grand and strings.
This keyboard does have built-in songs. I can go to Song Demo. And there are 50 classical pieces in here, actually. Things like Canon or Air on the G string. That'd be Canon and D, of course. Ode to Joy. Let's play that back and listen to it a little bit. Here's one everybody knows, Claire de Lune, very famous piece. So you can see it's really easy to call up those songs and play them back. There are also lesson songs that you can play along to. There's Hannon. Here's one of the Hannon exercises. I remember doing those when I started out playing piano. So there are great songs that you can listen to and play along with classic songs, but lesson modes too. So this instrument can be used as an educational tool for any level of player. You can record yourself on this instrument as well. So if you're practicing something, you wanna listen back to it, you can with record and then play back right there, really simple. There's a metronome to play along to, to practice with. Just like that. There are also rhythms you can play along to in the keyboard. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the Yamaha CLP 745. If you have any questions about it, feel free to put those below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Click here for more videos like this or go to Sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.